We are living in a generation where prophets are prophesying, but whatever they are saying is not manifesting. Hear me, sometimes it is so your fault that the prophecy didn't come to pass. I know there are many people who have asked, why is it that they have said so, so, and so, yet it's not manifesting? Sometimes it is not your fault. The one giving you the prophetic word is to be investigated. So sometimes the one who carries your prophetic word is important. So you should pray that God should give your prophetic word to a prophet that carries authority. A prophet with authority that after he says it, it manifests. Because it is not just enough to see. You must go beyond seeing. How many people can say, if I be a man of God, and fire will really come down? A story is said of prophet Baba Lola a prophet of God, an apostle of fire. There was a tree in Nigeria. He and then uh, this man Kumi had the same story. There was a tree in Nigeria that they said that the tree too was an evil tree. He went and looked at that tree and the tree caught literal fire. It's not like they put petrol on the tree. It just caught what? Literal fire. Just looking at an evil tree. Tree caught what? Literal fire. That is a man of authority. That is a man operating with a, a measure of light that no devil can withstand. So the one who carries your prophetic message even matters. It's important. There are people that will investigate and see what is happening in your life and come and tell you. And they are rather opening you to a lot of risks. Because as you are telling that person, if you don't know how to present the message, you are exposing the person to the devil. So Satan is now arming himself to come against the individual. Meanwhile, the words you spoke, there's no power backing those words for them to manifest. You have exposed the individual to the devil and you too, you have no power to back the individual. Because sometimes a prophetic word must have the ability, the authority to fight every opposition fighting against that prophetic word. But there are many prophetic words that don't travel beyond Bologatanga. When they give that prophetic word, it stops in the church. It does not travel beyond the ceiling of the church. That is because the one giving the prophetic word should be investigated. So it is not just enough to see you must have authority. You must be a man of authority, a man of power. That is why every prophet must learn how to prevail in in the secret place before you even come out before you say something in the public it should be said in the secret place it must be said in private and that is one of the most important things you need to know as a man of god which is missing in our generation and because it is missing in our generation there are many people going to and fro looking for help and they are going to places and they are laying hands they are doing things and things are not working do you know what is happening that is because somebody somewhere didn't get it right and we need to reinvestigate and work this thing in order to get results for our generation. Do you carry authority? So we lost authority in the prophetic office because of sin. Unrighteousness, unholiness, impurity. What Dom has taken over? The love of money, the love for women, the love for material things, the love for things that don't matter. We have lost authority to it. Whilst we were busy satisfying the flesh, the devil took that away from us. Have you discovered that the Bible said when God walked into the garden of Eden, when he walked into the garden of Eden, he said, Adam, where are you? And Adam said, I am naked. I heard your voice and I was what a same, so I hid myself. And then the Bible said, God asked Adam, Who told you you are naked? How did he know you are naked? Let me show you how Adam lost his authority. How did you know you are naked? Have you eaten the fruit I have asked you not to eat? He said, It is not me, it is the woman. That was the time power shifted from Adam to the woman because immediately Adam gave an excuse as the father or as the gatekeeper of the garden of Eden. Authority was shifted from Adam to the woman. And then God traveled from the from Adam to the woman and said, Who asked you to eat the fruit? The woman shifted the blame from herself to the devil. And he said, it is the devil who asks us to eat it. When God got to Satan, Satan was quiet. The devil was quiet because he's a master of all evil. He knows how God operates. And he knows how men lose authority in the realms of God. He knows the method and then the ways. He knows that if a man do this, when a man is given an excuse, instead of that man to stand and take responsibility, that man loses authority. So he kept quiet. He didn't give an excuse. He, he never, he never, he he never opened his mouth. The devil was silent. That was how the devil took authority from who? Adam and Eve. Because of silence. One word don't come to you. One thing about word is that he will breathe last. And when he breathe last and you are running after whatever he has breathed in you and he is threatening it, the more you are going after that satisfying your flesh, you are doing transaction. So sometimes immorality is not just about satisfying the flesh. It is a transaction in the realms of the spirit. There is a man of God trading his authority for, 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 for the desire of the flesh. There is a man trading his authority for the desire of material things. There is a man trading his authority for the desire of things that only 
benefit you in the physical. So you don't know that it is a transaction, but in the realms of the devil, he knows that it is a transaction. He's taking away your authority from you. You may think that it is just one nine pleasure, or it is just a pleasure of a particular area, but it is a transaction the devil is doing with you. Indirectly, you are paying, and indirectly, you are taking something. So you are giving something, and you are taking something. That is how the devil operates. So a man that was on fire, and a man with authority, all of a sudden cannot even speak. When you speak, principalities are not moved. Powers are not moved. Because what dumb have come to you, strengthen a particular area of your life, gave you something and take something. So that is why these days we have a lot of prophets. We are all prophets. We prophesy, we pray, we say things, we give deadlines and nothing is happening. That is because there is something the enemy has taken from us. So to be holy, to be righteous, to be pure is a requirement in walking in the authority of God.